Hello and welcome back to my series of videos about old calculators. In a previous video I was showing something like this which is an um, old mechanical calculator from let's say 1904, so 100 years old and uh, you see that we have some change moving the numbers. Now fast forward 75 years, something like that, and you arrive in the 70s with this type of watch that I showed on a different video and uh, this is a Casio where there's a touch screen here and you can type the number by touching the screen so this is described in a different video but at the same time at about the same years we had another watch coming and this is the one I want to talk about today it's this one so this one is very nice because it's kind of unusual compared to the other watch in the way that all the buttons for the calculator are around the screen, around the round screen here. It, it's an LCD watch and uh, this is made by Citizen. And they came up with this watch in about uh, maybe 1977. And um, first of all, you can see that apart from the unusual disposition of the button here. The watch is very pretty. Uh, when, you, when you wear that, it's, it's a round watch compared to the, all the other calculator watch that were square. And uh, it's very elegant to, to wear on your arm. So, so they came up with different model of the watch. So the first one was the model 9090, which was um, a little bit less button than this one. They had only the four basic operation, plus, minus, multiply, and uh, and then just a couple months later, they came up with this one with additional function here on the left. You have um, the square root, you have the percent and the memory. So overall, this watch was kind of a, a full function calculator watch already, but. A year later, in 1978, they came up with an even better watch. And that's the one I want to talk about today. It's this one. So, again, this is Citizen. This is the same type of uh, disposition for the button around the screen. But, as you can notice, there's a lot of them here. And uh, most of them here are just the numbers. And all these buttons here on the left are different functions. And uh, it's even worse than that because if you press on the first one here on the top, you can switch the function for each button here to have a different meaning. And it's, it's all explained on the screen. So this is not a watch for all guys like me because you need to have very good uh, glasses to read that. But I think it's... a. Uh, it was an exceptional watch at that time, so remember 1978 and uh, this watch has all the scientific functions like sine, you know, cosine, tangent and uh, there's even some uh, statistical function and uh, good luck to use that because uh, entering the number is not too difficult but it takes a lot of time. Uh, the thing is you can even enter the number with your nail here. Even if you have big fingers, if you, if you have some nail, you can enter the number. You don't really need a stylus. But this watch is really nice. All you have to do is click on the switch button here on the top and then you can see that uh, uh, the, the screen will display a zero underneath and you can enter the calculator mode. So this is not the original strap. I had to change that because I have big arms. But this watch from 1978 I think was sold uh, around $800 at that time. So to give you an idea, um, 1978, the average um, income was around $10,000 a year. So that would be one month of salary for you to have this watch on your arm. Um, if you think about the car, I think the car were around $4,500 new. <laughs> so, a couple of watches and you have a, a car. So, again, 1978, 
citizen, the, the model is uh, 9410. I think there were different models. Um, this one is gold plated, but uh, some of them were uh, like this one, you know, metal. Um, but those two watches are kind of difficult to get. Um, this one is not too bad, you can find some of them still around there, but this one is very unusual and I, I read somewhere that there were less than 200 in the world and to have one that is completely working like this one, I tested all the function, everything is working, it's, it's very rare and very unusual. So if you get a chance and if you see one for sale, jump on it because those were exceptional watch and you cannot find them everywhere. Um, if you compare that to the, the previous one that came out from uh, Pulsar, those were LED watches, you can see that the size is much less and it's much more elegant than this square seeing here with the buttons here. So anyway, thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you soon on a different one.